Good afternoon, guys, or good morning, or whatever you're watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by in this video. Today, I'm going to be taking you into my pantry. Just, just one cupboard. That's about all I can um, stand showing you today. One cupboard, and I'm going to pull some things out of my freezer that I'm going to be using. And I'm trying to use the oldest items first out of the freezer, which that big one back there, not the big one, the one that's attached to the refrigerator. I need to get stuff out of there used first. And I also need to clean out my cabinet, which is that way. And it's, it's, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, but I'm going to show you what it really looks like. You know, I'm trying, like I said before, I'm trying to challenge myself to use my oldest items first, either in the fridge. That rooster always tries to talk me. And guys, I got my windows open. It's like 74 degrees again today. Crazy weather. But anyway, sorry. Off the rabbit trail. Uh, why he always tries to out talk me? Okay, let's get back to this video. Anyway, I am trying to use the items that are in my freezer, my pantry, the refrigerator. And y'all, I'm finding some stuff that I'm ashamed to show you. But it is what it is. So anyway, I'm hoping to encourage you to get into your cabinets, your freezers, your refrigerators, whatever, to do the same thing, to use up the oldest items first. And yeah, well, let's just go ahead and get into it. And no judgment, y'all, because it is a hot mess. So here's some things I just pulled out of the freezer this morning because I will be using them. These are some, these are some of our peppers. Um, I've got them in this colander right here, this strainer straining. They're frozen. Um, I'll be using these on a pizza and also a breakfast casserole that I'll be making today. This is butter. You guys know from all my videos previously, I've been stocking up on butter at Lidl while they had it on sale. But before I started finding Lidl, they put these on sale. I got a lot of butter from Sam's Club, and I haven't been a member of Sam Club, Sam's Club for over two years. It's been at least two years. Um, I found this in the freezer. <laughs> um, the date on this goes back to um, September of 21. I probably got this about in February of 2021 because I usually put these out about the expiration date out about six months before. Um, so this is kind of what's going on with what I will be using because I will be using, like I said, these in a pizza today and also a breakfast casserole. And in this breakfast casserole, I'll be using these croissants. Now, I have not bought any kind of biscuit dough. And I honestly can't tell you when since Walmart jacked their biscuit dough up. I've been trying to use alternatives. Um, but anyway, the date on these, I picked these up at um, Aldi. I think I did a video on them back during the early summer, spring maybe. I can't remember. They were 25 cents for a pack. So I got a bunch of them and I used them. But my refrigerator is not in any better of shape as my pantry my cabinets are so if you look in here and show you the date well, hopefully you can see it. it the date on this is july of 22 both of these come from july of 22 i'm going to use them today i'm going to use them up so like i said i'm trying to use the oldest things um this will be going into a casserole excuse me a breakfast casserole um, as well as the peppers. Of course, I need the butter. But let me take you just a little bit. Guys, please don't judge. I know it's a hot mess. I usually get stuff organized and then I kind of like slack off. So let me show you what my cabinets look like. All right, this is one of my closest cabinets. I call it my throw-to cabinet. Yep, it's called my throw-to cabinet. I get stuff. Most of the time, it's junk stuff that I usually use a lot, but I have not been using it. Yeah, this is a hot mess that I need to desperately get organized because I guarantee you, if you look back here, y'all, I'm almost afraid to move anything because if I do, it's going to come crush, crashing down on my foot and I don't want that. Um, I did pull these out in the oatmeal and refill my container. I need to refill it again. This is when I got the, um, I'm not sure, was this the bulk store, Amish bulk store? Yeah, this was the now this was the Mennonite bulk store that's closest to me. Um, but I know for a fact that I've got quite a few canned items back here that are expired. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be dangerous. Ugh. Um, like I need to use these hams. What are the date on this? It's got a date on it. Oh, I'll I'll show it to you in a minute. But there's several of those back there that I need to use. 
Um, I was stocking up on, you know, chocolate chips, um, stuff like this. <laughs> you could basically call this my, my sugar cupboard and soup cupboard because I put all my cake mixes and stuff in there. Um, gosh, wow. I didn't know I had any of those left. That's the bad part about this right here is that when you do this, you don't know what you got. Yeah. So I'm just trying to show you this. This is part of my pantry. Gal, I still got a Christmas case. Good night. Um, yeah, this is part of my pantry challenge is getting this insanity picked up because it's a hot mess. I got these at the um, in the mountains for a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. You really big ones. There's nothing wrong with them. Stuff don't ever go bad. Um, at the discount grocery store in the mountains. Yeah, so this... Oh, wow, that's really bad. I shouldn't put that in there like that. So I really need to get in here and, like I said, get it cleaned it out, get it organized a whole lot better than this. These need to be put into mason jars and sealed. They last just... They last so long when they're like that. Um, and I need to go in there and, like, put some dates on some stuff so I know what I have and what I don't. And honestly, I have been doing this so long. I know what lasts and what doesn't last. Um, it's just a matter of getting my backside in here and actually using all this stuff. Yeah, so that's just one of my cabinets, my closest one. Honestly, if I find a good deal and I ain't feeling it, it comes in here and it gets thrown in here. And this is the insanity it starts to look like. Please tell me somebody else does this and it's not just me. So I also have this right here that I've been throwing stuff in. And this is something I really need to get out. I picked up these pancake mixes from... The discount grocery store in the mountains and if you look they were 10 cents they are actually very good pancakes considering i don't care for box pancake mixes but they're good but the problem with this particular box and i really should have done something by now i should have actually stuck them in the freezer let me show you something if you open this up if you open this box up look it is not in a bag. It's just in the box. Y'all, this is the worst way to store stuff. It truly is. This will cause bug infestation faster than you can blink an eye. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these boxes in the freezer. Let them sit in there for about a month or so. And then I'm going to vacuum seal them in some of my jars. I think that would be the best way to take care of this. But y'all, for $0.10 cents a box... And they're really good pancake mix. I actually saw these at Dollar Tree and went and got get them because I don't like box pancakes mix. But hubby talked me into getting them for a dime. And I'm glad I did because that tastes pretty good. Something else I really need to use up. <sighs> Guys, I don't buy this stuff right here. Um, this also, I'm not mistaken. I think this is the same way. Is this the same way? Let's see. No, this is actually is wrapped in some paper right here, which is a whole lot better than just slapping it in a box. Um, anyway, like I said, these Jiffy Muffin Mixes, I have a bunch of them. It's not a lot. It's probably about seven or eight, I guess. Um, I didn't buy these. These actually came from the Salvation Army because I told you, uh, you all know, my daughter works there. And sometimes they'll donate food there and they can't accept food at the place where she works because they do retail. It's like a thrift shop type thing. Um, I don't know if they'll take it down at the, their soup kitchen, their homeless shelter or not. But anyway, they had all of these and everybody took what they wanted. And my daughter just bought these home to me because she thought I might be able to use them. I always make my home own homemade cornbread. Um, but I've got a few recipes that I pulled off Pinterest. So I'm actually going to try to use them with. And if you look at the date on this, this is from... Let's see, 7 22 back in July. And actually, I got these probably, I guess, but she, gave, she got them to me back in the springtime. So, as you can see, guys, I've got a lot to work through in my cabinets, in my cabinets, in my refrigerator, my freezers. Yeah, I've really got a whole lot I need to be worked with. But this one, um, y'all, this was really bad. I don't see anything in it. If I did, I'd freak out. But anyway, um, yeah, this definitely needs to be frozen the whole box and then repackaged into a mason jar and used up as um, as soon as possible so guys i showed you what was in my cabinet um, a few of the items came out of the refrigerator and freezer and well it is what it is we're just going to work on it that's what this pantry challenge freezer clean out whatever you want to call it is about for this month of January 2023 is my getting myself back in order because i got slack on that everything's and guys if 
you have any tips or tricks, please leave them down in the comments below. We're all in this together. I appreciate it so much. And if you like this video, please give it a, thumb, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And like I said, guys, um, just trying to make the most of what I got and trying to be honest and real with you. So you guys have an amazing day in sweet Jesus. And thank you so much. I want to encourage, encourage you to get out there and do this, y'all. Because y'all could help me. Y'all help me in y'all's comments as much as I hope I'm blessing and helping you. But anyway, I'm trying to encourage you. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless.